Hey, Chad Carter here, and I just want to bring you a quick video. Um, I tried something a little bit different today. I, I was actually doing a bunch of different things, um, but none of them really worked out for me, and I ran out of time, and I wanted to get something out there uh, since this is the, the day I have set aside to try to get um, a video done and a, a post done um, for, in particular, talking about the HoloLens. So I was fooling around with some uh, A-star pathfinding, and I was going to have that running in my uh, spatial mapping, my little basement here, and uh, let let the person run around. Uh, but that didn't, couldn't get that quite working in time. Um, so then I was looking at a few other things. But I ended up just making a little demo with a post-processing effect. Uh, so I used a pixel shader or a fragment shader. And what that does, uh, a lot of times you'll use it in a game, and you'll have the entire, you know, render your scene, and then on top of it, you'll run through this post-processing effect and maybe it will uh, add some uh, bloom effect to it or it will add some sun flares or um, well in all kinds of things there's, there's a lot of stuff um, you know maybe uh, an old-timey look make it look like an old-timey film and and, uh, and things uh, so this effect I did was just a ripple effect um, so it was as if like a, a drop of uh, a drop of water was hitting a pond. It was kind of a rippling out. Um, and so you'll see that in the video. And the video looks all right. I mean, you would have no idea whether I did that like in a uh, video editing software versus in real time. But it was done in real time on the HoloLens. Uh, but it really didn't look that great uh, when I was doing it, which makes sense because it's post-processing effect. So everything I was seeing right in front of me was fine. I was, it was doing the whole drip effect. Uh, but all this peripheral vision that I have around, um, you know, the post-processing effect is stopping and, and it, uh, it just, it breaks, breaks the flow. So it's not really a great, uh, a great use of it here. But what I might do is say, take that same effect and maybe project it on the wall. So maybe my wall will have uh, the ripple effect or whatever and actually apply it to uh, some surfaces. Uh, but either way, I uh, hope you like it. It's only about a minute long, so enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Hide. Show. Hide.